exciting things were happening back in 1957. That year in Jacksonville, Arkansas, Harold Guatney established Guatney Chevrolet, the number one Chevy dealer in the state. At the same time, a 22-year-old Elvis Presley purchased Graceland for just over $100,000. Today, Guatney's taking a closer look at the iconic cars left behind by the undisputed king of rock and roll. We're at Elvis Presley's house. We're yeah. across the street at the museum. I've got my fellow 80s buddy, Brian Johnson here. How are you? I'm good. And you're in charge of all these vehicles? Uh, well, not personally. I wish I could take all the credit. <laughs> but I work with the archives department. They have a great team, and we take care of all these vehicles. He loved cars. He loved anything with a motor in it, an engine that could fly him from point A to point B. Now, behind us, this is the Stutz. Last car he ever drove, correct? Last car he ever drove. This is a 1973 Stutz Blackhawk. Um, actually, um, it's got a Pontiac engine, I believe, in it, uh, but it's, a, it's an Italian model car. So Elvis fell in love with the Stutz because in 71, there was a Stutz that was brought to his house for him to look at. Uh, it was actually ordered for Frank Sinatra. It was the first one ordered here. He loved the 71, so he ended up buying that one. And then two years later, he bought the 73. He had it for four years. It's one of the few cars that he kept for an extended period of time. Tell us about the famous photo. So yeah, the famous photo uh, over there behind us um, is of Elvis driving through the gates on the morning of August 16th, 1977, which little would we know that would be the last photo that we ever had of Elvis. Uh, wow. a, fandom, uh, a fan had him handed, uh, happened to be just standing there at random, caught a picture of Elvis driving through the gates and you know, took his photo thinking, oh, I got a picture of photo. Well, but. tell us right quick, this, this museum is all brand new. It is totally awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. We have huge car museum now, uh, very spacious. Well, you can go to graceland.com and uh, purchase your tickets here, or you can just come see us in the ticket office and we'll be glad to take care of you there too. If you've not been to Graceland in the past year, you haven't been. With all new displays and restaurants, it's worth the drive. And remember Guatney Chevrolet in Jacksonville, Arkansas, established the same year as Graceland and going just as strong today.